what you want to strive for is not to imitate other people. It's what you have to say that separates you from the other photographer. One of the mistakes that I think young photographers make, which is a mistake I made when I was a freelance photographer in my 20s, was you put together a portfolio, you so much want work, you're trying to figure out what is the combination of images that will get you work. The problem with that is, first off, you'll never guess what, what it is. And secondly, it's not representing yourself in the best possible way. You have to be, what you're selling is who you are as a photographer, and that's what, who they'll employ. So one of the mistakes is the portfolios they show. Another is going out and doing stories that, because they know a good story is this story because it won an award, so they go out and do the same story. And you really want to do different stories. Another mistake is the idea that you have to go to Africa or the Middle East to do great work. I'm often counseling photographers, young photographers, do stories where they are. Do stories that they know. And they're more likely to do great work than going for two weeks or even two months to an exotic place. You don't have to go to an exotic place. You shouldn't be afraid of approaching photographers, more established photographers, even photographers who might be your heroes. I know of no one who can't point to someone in their career when they were young who were critical in their development. So I think it's really important to reach out, try to find mentors. You should also show work to editors. Try not, well, something I always had a problem with was thinking, was my work good enough? You don't have to be a finished photographer to meet with an editor. Editors will look at work as it develops and they make relationships with photographers when they're young. So, you know, try to get your work out there in whatever way you can. Try to get it in front of editors and try to form a community with other photographers, both your own age and older photographers as well. There's a big difference between, you know, good work and great work. There's so much good work out. Out, out there and you know the difference is really that element of time and passion and obsession more and more I think of photography that all that's important is the process and it's not the product if the process is right if your involvement with the story or your creative involvement with the project if you're being authentically yourself if your investigation is real and sincere and authentic that really helps define the work, I and mean, that's really kind of a critical part of the work.